What's up guys, Bulva the Fell Handed here bringing you The Way of the Derp Part 5. We are on Siegfried Line. The greens have spawned on the southern spawn. The reds have spawned on the northern spawn. Now, if you'll notice, the reds have two artillery. Normally, the KV-2 is not a field tank. It's not, you know, I kind of have to shift gears here because everything I do has to do with mediums, lights, fast tanks and those you would want to normally go to the field you you don't want to do that and that's just a good idea as far as if they did not have any artillery at all you still wouldn't get, want to go to the field and that's primarily due to the fact that the heavier tanks typically have garbage camouflage so you can see them more or less from the moon and not be spotted and what happens is you know the guys on the ridge over there at C6, you know, one of them out in the field spots you, and then everybody on the ridge fires on you. So, it's it's <laughs> you're gonna have a bad time. If you're in a KV2 and you go to the field, you're gonna have a bad time. So we're gonna move into the city here and see if we can't put some fire on some people. Maybe if we can't do some close range derping, and that's kind of our plan of attack. That's kind of our idea here. See if we can't get in here off the gate and maybe get a few good derps in. Almost have a derp there through the window, not quite, which makes me sad. I'm not sure I could make that derp at any rate. It, you know, you have to be very cautious with this tank. It has good health, it has decent armor, but it seems like when you really get into it, everything in the world will pin you. So, you, you know, you really, when I say you have to play this, like the tier 6 version of the Death Star, I'm not kidding, you really do. Now, it looks like they're starting to move on us on the right here. We're going to see if we can't make a derp. Oh, we made a good derp there. It was a clutch derp. Uh, make a clutch derp at the guys he drove by. Ended up connecting uh, w with his tank's buttocks. So right now, you know, we've got a few guys down here towards our right flank. And we're just kind of posting up here, getting ready to, you know put some fire on them as it were we're gonna try to repel their attack and we're being very cautious you know because like I said earlier this tank has good armor you just never want to plan on it bouncing anything because people you know I mean you they can penetrate the turret on this thing like nobody's business so you have to be very cautious you need to go out you need to do your derping and you need it imme immediately, immediately pull back into cover. Now, this is the point, derp. That was a good derp. This is the point where, if you look at the board, we have a lot of guys left. They've got about half left. This is when you need, in your head, to start timing out your shots, timing out your travel, in order to maximize, you know, your, your personal damage. Derp. Missed that one. And the idea here is, is that, you know, the game is well in hand. So at this point, you need to start locking down your targets, knowing where you're going to be next, so on and so forth. Because it, at this point in the game, you should have a good idea where everyone is, where the rest of the remaining reds are. And, you know, you should already be heading towards them. You should already have plans to, you know, I'm going to set my tank down this way. I'm going to come up behind him. I'm going to come up on his side, what have you. And you need to make these plans. And all the, all you're doing, all this is doing is just maximizing your damage at this point. And that's exactly what you want to do. That was a good derp right there. Not quite the one-shot derp, but, you know, it all can't be one-shot derps. And this is kind of the situation where we just ended up getting lucky and being right in the middle of the fight. Because, you know, a lot of times if your team does too well, there's no meat on the bone left for you. But we were kind of in the middle of it, so we ended up pulling a little bit of damage out of it. So we were very fortunate during this game. So 2,227 damage, zero blocked, way of the derp, part 5. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe.